Only 34% of Floridians support the 2022 bill that banned abortion at 15 weeks. Now, the new Florida law would ban most abortions at six weeks. So there is now a petition going forward that would support abortion rights that if enough signatures are gained would be on the 2024 ballot. So let's talk about it. Hey, everybody, it's Dr. David. As you probably know, Florida has pushed further to the extreme with the passage of a six week abortion ban. Now, there is a group called Floridians Protecting Freedom that's pushing back against this and is trying to put a ballot initiative for a constitutional amendment for November 2024 that would support abortion rights. Now, this initiative would allow women to get an abortion up until the age of viability. And as you may know, viability means able to survive outside of the womb, which is typically at 23, 24 weeks. Now, I want to read to you exactly what the uh, title and what the bill says, I mean, what the amendment says. Now, the title, Amendment to Limit Government Interference with Abortion. The actual wording of the amendment says, No law shall prohibit, penalize, delay, or restrict abortion before viability or when necessary to protect the patient's health as determined by the patient's health care provider. Okay. Now I will talk a little bit more about the, um, about the actual, um, constitutional amendment and what people may want to do if they want to get involved and sign up for it. As you may know, there is also a recent Florida law that says that a constitutional amend amendment needs over 900,000. It's more than that, but it's a little over, um, votes from all around the state in order for it to be considered by the Supreme Court, which then has to verify and allow for the uh, amendment to be put onto the ballot. OK, and so but it also says that the wording has to be as such that it can only change one thing in the Constitution. And I think that that's a really good thing, because sometimes we have seen these constitutional amendments on our ballots. It's so long. I have no idea what I'm even voting for, what the, what yes versus no means. So the fact that this is so short, so succinct, so straight to the point should lead to no ambiguity as to what this is about. OK, now, as far as the current status of Florida abortion laws, now, yes, government, Governor DeSantis signed this law for the six week ban. However, the current Florida law, which is at 15 weeks, is currently undergoing litigation. A group of doctors have sued the state and in, in because they are stating that this is a violation of their patient's bodily autonomy. So while the this is being figured out, the law does still currently say at 15 weeks with virtually no exemptions, but the six week law wouldn't go into effect or even be considered. And of course, there could be additional litigation until the 15 week law has become settled. So this is a case that's in front of the Supreme Court. There has not been a date set yet, but this will needs to be done. And of course, who knows what the Florida Supreme Court will do. OK, now, why is it that a six week ban is so egregious? Now, first of all, many women do not know that they are pregnant at just six weeks. As you may know, gestational age. So full term is considered 40 weeks of gestation. But the gestational age clock starts at the woman's last menstrual period which means ovulation doesn't take place for two weeks. So the first two weeks of gestation, a woman is not pregnant, which means there's actually four weeks of pregnancy that a woman is allowed to um, choose to get an abortion. Now, if you skip, there, there are plenty of women who may have a light period, may not realize that they skip a period that early. There are women who have um, their abortion, um, I'm sorry, who have their periods, not frequently, maybe every six weeks, every few months, etc. They wouldn't necessarily know that they were pregnant before this six weeks of gestation has occurred. Now, by that, it means that most women would have stripped their medical freedom by the state. Now, let me present a few additional statistics. Okay, only 12% of Floridians in a recent poll support a total ban on abortion. And as I said, with this, I consider this pretty much a total abortion ban. 65%, and this has been in multiple studies, 
65% of Floridians support a woman's choice to have an abortion in some or most cases up until a certain point. Okay, now what's my opinion on all of this? Now, I believe in a woman's right to make a choice over her body and reproductive health. That's something I have not been shy of. I believe everybody should have medical freedom and should have a right to autonomy over their own body, regardless of the type of procedure that it may be when it comes to a vaccine, when it comes to a surgery, etc. We should have a voice. We should have a say. We should have ultimate determination, When it, especially since informed consent means that we cannot consent to something until we're informed about it. But if we don't consent to something, we can't. But of course, a woman can consent to this with proper weighing of the pros versus cons, which of course anybody should do for any medical procedure. Now, as I've also stated, I am incredibly sympathetic to people who believe that life begins at conception. And I realize that this is almost always related to their religious beliefs. And I so respect everybody's religion. But I also recognize that this is not what a large majority of people believe and that this is not their religious belief system. As a Jewish person, we believe that life begins at, birth, at, at, at the first breath, not at conception or forming of certain organs, the first breath of life. And there's certainly a lot of other people who don't um, feel that that, again, that conception of birth is that. But that's a different person um, opinion. But what do they, we also know? Our laws are not to be dictated by religious belief or preference. And that's where it, that's where the issue is here. The First Amendment of the United States Constitution says that religion is not to be used as part of lawmaking, right? Okay, so how do people get involved? So if, so first of all, as I mentioned, lots of signatures need to be put onto these petitions. And if you go to floridiansprotectingfreedom.com, that's their website, you can download the petition form. You can sign it, you can send it in, there's an address there. Additionally, there are hubs throughout the state where a person can go in person to be given the document if they don't want to print it out. To fill it out, to sign it can be um, and, and, and turn it in right then and there. So, you know, certainly an important part of our democratic process is majority rules. Majority wins. OK, now, in this case, of course, because it is a constitutional amendment, it's not a simple majority. There needs to be 60 percent. But if you want to get involved, if you want to have the opportunity to vote on this in November 2024, here's your opportunity and do what you think is the right thing. Have a great day.